Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Oh my God, we have been waiting for this moment for the last four weeks. OpenAI just dropped their ChatGPT image generation API today. And now you can take advantage of all the work that OpenAI did to make this the best image generation API basically out there. And we'll look back at this error like the gold rush. But before we jump right in, why should you even listen to me? My name is Timo. I run multiple AI SaaS. I can refresh here my Stripe dashboard because I personally wouldn't listen to anyone who hasn't walked the walk nowadays. There's just so many people nowadays out there that just pretend. This is one of my B2C SaaS. Here's one of my B2C, uh, B2B SaaS payments. So yeah, just to get this out of the way, my name is Timo. I'm running multiple AI SaaS myself, B2C and B2B. Now, let's get into this part. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you proven ideas that I think are going to do well based on my research, but I'm also giving you the tools to do your own research. Okay. Now, this image generation API is crazy. I mean, you have seen the Ghibli wrappers at the Ghibli uh, images that have been produced, these toy images, right, that, that went super viral. So this has so many possibilities to make money with this. This is just insane. And there's going to be in six months from now, there's going to be businesses that do 10 million a year and they're being built on this API right now. Could be you. So let's start right on. Let's start right in with the idea. Now, let me quickly give you the shovels so you can actually research your own unique ideas as well. So first of all, Google autocomplete, right? Go into a private browser and then Google like AI4 or AI images4 or AI ads4. You're going to get hundreds of ideas that you can immediately use. And they're basically already validated because if Google shows it there, it means people are searching it, right? So just use the first five results and uh, then do the next research, with is, which is go to answerthepublic.com. They do an extended uh, autocomplete basically for you. They will give you like how to and then AI and like um, why AI and stuff like this. Just check it out. I think they have free, uh, five free searches per day. So check this tool out. It's amazing to do market research. Next one. Oh, this is actually also free. It's called Sensor Tower. And this tool allows you to see the exact revenue of uh, mobile apps that mobile apps do. Okay, so mobile apps are a little bit different from, uh, from software, right? But in general, you get a feel what do people pay for. And we only want to build stuff that people actually pay for, right? We're here to make money, right? So for example, I Googled here Remini, this is a VC-backed AI uh, photo app doing 6 million a month on iOS plus 1 million more on uh, uh, Android, right? So yeah, really good tool. Another one, this is actually paid. It, it's called Ahrefs, um, the best keyword research tool out there. I will show you in a minute how you can actually use this to find the best keywords that you should target. But yeah, you will need this at some point in your journey. I think they have a plan that starts from like 29 a month. So yeah, these are, the, these are very good tools. Now to the ideation, you should always start from the problem, not the solution, right? Now we have the, the solution, this is the API. Still, you should think not the API. Wow, it can all this do this shit. No, you should start from the problem. What problems can you solve for people or for businesses, right? Beginner mistakes like, oh, I'm going to build an app for my friends to connect. This problem doesn't exist. Okay, so there's already so many apps out there that connect your friends, just as an example, right? Because it's one of the first things that people build, for example, in college, an app, an app to connect the friends. It usually fails. How do you find problems to solve that people actually pay for? Use the tools above to find what people want. Look at your own day-to-day -day life as well and see what bothers you and what could be improved. What do you spend a lot of time on, okay? Now, bonus, if you are in a job, this is actually pretty good. Like people always say, hate on nine to five jobs. This is one of the best places to find proven ideas, okay? Let's say you're in a job and you do repetitive tasks all day long. I don't know, be it with Excel or be it now with images or um, infographics, something like this. Infographics is also a, a huge one. Um, if you see yourself either spending a lot of time on this or the business spending a lot of money to solve this problem, this is a B2B idea, right? You can test it even in your own company and then later licenses it to other businesses, right? Always start small though. Um, because you're probably not a VC-backed company with like 30, 50 million dollar funding and can do and try to do everything. Even if they even if they that much funding, it's 
often the smaller companies who are niches who are in the niches that actually survive but more on that later also do not try to be a first mover or try to innovate something that has never been done okay this will usually fail okay tesla wasn't the first electric car and google wasn't the first search engine um no ideas are original okay by the way great book steal like an artist read this it's a it's a two-hour read but it's mm, it's perfect one of my favorite books do what has been proven to work then iterate it and make it better either go into a new niche or into a new market okay Look at comments, feedbacks, and reviews of existing software and make it better, right? G2, Captera, etc. Uh, Trustpilot, look at there and see what you can make better. TLDR, do not try to invent stuff, okay? Because you only have a finite amount of time, right? You don't have uh, dozens of years to just experiment because you, in the end, you want to make money. You want to, you're here to make money, right? So you want to success, uh, you want to succeed 999 times out of a thousand times just one more uh slide basically before we jump into the nitty-gritty and into the ideas do you know these guys these are three germans okay i'm german that's why i know them they hate it in silicon valley they hate it in silicon valley but they actually um have a pretty good reputation amongst also indie hackers and stuff like this because these are the summer brothers who cloned ebay this was their first first big thing they cloned ebay which started in the US to Germany and sold it to eBay a eBay, hundred days after launching for $43 million. We can actually learn a ton from these guys. Why? Because they have a extremely crazy track record, okay? Most of what, most of their companies that they started succeeded, okay? Why? Because they either went into a new market or into a new niche, okay? Let's start with a new market, actually. This fits great to the Sumbers right now. Now, this is how startups usually work, okay? The idea is usually born in the US. Yes, there can also be innovations in Europe or whatever, but usually, if we look at it, most tech innovations come from the US, right? It's just most innovative market, biggest market, most talent is there. Then US startup, though, they focus on US markets because it's the largest market for them, okay? This leaves a lot of time for you to do it in your market, to, to take something that they do and put it in your market, put it in France, put it in Spain, put it in Germany. And later on, you might even get acquired by that company or you just have a really, really nice and profitable business, okay? So they did the heavy lifting of finding PMF, finding product market fit in the US, and you just take what, what they did and do it in your, um, in your market, right? That means localizing whatever you see working, okay? Now, you have actually an advantage if you're not from the US in that point, because you speak the language, you speak as, as Spanish, you, you speak French, uh, French um, and you know the cultural differences, okay? And the key world difficulty, if you go into an underserved market, like let's say France here, right? This is, this is what I wanted to explain to you, is a joke, so you can rank extremely fast. So I, I just translated this with, with Deepal to, to French, and this means basically um, AI image generator in France or something. If you Google this, or if you um, pull up the keyword difficulty for this in the US, it's gonna be like 80, 90, right? Like mid journeys ranking that every, everybody is just outranking you here. The keyword difficulty is 12, which means you need a little bit of domain authority, but, but not much, right? You need a few domains that point to you, okay? and some good good content and you're going to rank and people are going to find you and there's over 1800 global searches a month for this okay so this is what i mean with new market okay let's get let's jump right into the ideas so this is first idea to clone into your market idea number one right headshotpro.com we all know this guy um he founded headshotpro.com he does about 3.6 million dollars a year generating headshots for people okay now his website is uh, in English. I think he also translated it to other other countries. But the way SEO works is it also depends on your domain. So if you have a, a, a just a general headshot headshot domain, um, you will not rank as good as as if you get like a French specific domain, for example, or like a Spanish specific domain. So take this, see what he does. Right now you can do a lot with the GPT for Image API, and rebuild this for your local market. So he does $3.6 million a year in English markets. I think you can 
you can do 20% of that in your market, right? Um, now, let's jump over into this one because here I have a lot more ideas. Go niche. Okay, so I see on Twitter a lot, a lot of these companies go absolutely crazy viral. Ads, okay. Ads is the use case that I think has the highest payment intent if you want to build with the new ChatGPT API. Why? Because good ad, good ads mean instant ROI for businesses. Okay, so this is a B2B idea. Businesses already spend a ton on ads. Okay, if you can, if your ads can make them more money, they're gonna pay you a lot of money. That's why there's a lot of these tools popping up right now, and a lot of these VC funded tools, right? Where we can take ideas, what works for them, and build niche versions of this. So, Arc Ads, Creatify, or I saw this recently, even though I hate this landing page, like this is just way too much on this landing page. This is, I don't know, this is a VC, VC funded, a company, I think um, even Peter Thiel is investing here. Um, yeah, Icon, it's called. So these are all VC funded companies um, and they're doing a lot in revenue, okay? Now, if you scroll down to their footers, okay? So I did that here and put a, put a screenshot here. You see all, you basically see all what they do, right? And you just pick out one um, and make a niche version out of it, right? So you see here, AI avatars, mobile ads, lead generation, AI lip sync, AI actors, AI ads, blah, 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 all of that, okay? There's like so much potential that you can just find out, take from them if you scroll to their footer, okay? Now, what you do is you pick any of these, because all of these work, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't have the feature. You pick any of these, but you only pick one, okay? That, that's the most important point. And this is your step-by-step -step how you get started with any of these ideas, okay? You check the keyword re uh, search volume in Ahrefs, then you check the competition. It will likely be low. Um, if it's below 15, you can basically immediately buy the domain and get started. Um, if it also has good enough search volume, right? Then you get a domain that exactly matches the H1 keyword. I mean, that keyword, right? For example, AI shorts, ge shorts generator, okay? Or AI shorts generator for law firms, something like that, right? You mix and match. This is where the magic comes in. Okay, this is how you really niche down. You you say uh, you pick one. You pick one from from this one and then mix it with one industry, for example. Okay, so you say AI image ads for industry, AI image ads for use case, AI product photo for industry. You can even go deeper here. You can say AI product photo for uh, like small fashion brands or AI product photos for Muay Thai brands or something like that. Like just find out what people are searching, right? And based on that, pick your H1 keyword that you want to rank for and then buy the domain. Um, also AI images for platform, like think Shopify, Webflow. You can then basically ride on this platform traffic that people um, already like trust, right? I hope you get the point here, right? The, the, uh, what we do here is basically trying to very, very quickly validate our idea with free SEO traffic by picking an H1 keyword from this mix and match and buying the domain, spinning up a website, and then seeing if we can get traffic, okay? This is all for free. You don't need to do a lot of short form content for this and stuff. This is a SEO based method. And we know already that it, that it works. We just need to get the traffic from then the specific angle okay now these are ads i think ads highest payment intent i mean you can even later run ads for your own ad platform okay so you can dog dog feed your own tool another one is of course organic content is always huge uh, huge thing um, everyone wants to create more organic content so there's a bunch of tools even b2c tools you can do but i really like this tool um, real farms has also been going viral on twitter and he introduced lately an AI slideshow generator, okay? AI slideshows are not videos, these are photos. These are photos with text on it, okay? Photos with text on it is perfect to be produced by the new ChatGPT uh, image uh, API, right? So what you can do is, instead of going very general and just saying I do slideshows, you do TikTok slideshows. You do TikTok slideshows for X, for a specific niche, or Instagram carousels, or you do Instagram carousels for X. I think you get the point, right? You niche down, you get the domain for this, you try to serve one niche. 
um, in that mass niche. I mean, Instagram carousels is like probably billion dollar market already or TikTok slideshows, right? So you try to go niche in there and uh, yeah, this is how you win. Again, mix and match uh, use cases and industries and niche down in the beginning. You can always expand later, but niche down in the beginning. Yeah, exactly. So these have been a, a bunch of ideas that are already in here. I think ads and organic content is the biggest one. I mean, what I just came into my mind, right, is the, the infographics one. There's also like a ton of demand for like infographics, which are beautifully uh, can be created by uh, the ChatGPT uh, API. Now, what I have prepared also for you, which I'm just gonna give away for free, is a prompt sheet, because obviously, in order to get good results for your customers, you need to know how to prompt. So I've written down some of the prompts that have worked really well for me. Uh, first link in the bio, you get a free Notion sheet with, with prompts on it um, that you can use to build it into your product. And what I'm also working on in the background, because a lot of people have asked me, like, the, I mean, the, the zero to, to like 5K MR step, basically idea, validation, build, launch, and marketing. Um, I'm, I'm working on a, on a really, really nice blueprint here that focuses on quick idea val uh, validation, quick MVP through AI coding. This is what I've been perfecting and learning for the last six, six months, and also proven marketing channels that have worked for me. And also I'm putting a waitlist there below the Notion sheet. Thank you very much for watching this video and sticking till the end. And I mean, man, let's just ship, right? This is the time. This is the time. This is our, our gold rush time. Let's do it and see you in the next video.